No. No, this is the wrong save. No. We, we don't want this one. Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you. No, this is before, save. like, the. Li no, it, it, is it the wrong save well, now? Go, go, the, <laughs> ah, just go, go load. Look at the loading loads. menu. See, see. Let's save. That's load. Which one? Right, so this is all the way down there. No, okay, so we loaded. We loaded 15. So that's 11.05. Go up. That's the one I just did. That's what we just that's did. That's 23.09. Up again. That's the auto save. 20, yeah, okay, that yeah, yeah, that's that's one. We loaded we load the wrong one, guys. A wizard never loads the wrong save. <laughs> He loads a precisely <laughs> what, he means to. <laughs> what he means to. And there's Elijah Wood. Doing that. <laughs> I always hate that bit when he does that oh, stupid laugh. Yeah, it's He's like, oh, Gandalf. I love so you. So happy to see you, Gandalf. You're such Bye. a danger to these residents. <laughs> <laughs> you shouldn't be allowed here, really. But fireworks, though, right? It's Gandalf, and he happens once a year. <laughs> he's like, uh, he's like um, the creeper in Jeepers Creepers. He appears every like thirty years to terrorize. <laughs> he has to take. He has to take exactly thirteen hobbits on an adventure, <laughs> so he can remain young for eternity. But I should. I went for the more obscure choice. I should have said that's just like Pennywise. <laughs> oh, that's true. That's true. Right. Gandalf's in well, the storm drain <laughs> with fireworks. Like. Well, we'll come back to Fellowship of the Ring, apparently. They all float down here, Frodo. <laughs> I have good news and bad news. They right. all float the bad down. news is we're playing Game of Thrones. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, if you talk to the NPC beside me, well... I think that's the biggest combo I've Stop that, I'm dizzy. Oh, did you see that? Stop it! What are you doing? <laughs> oh, this is worse than Gojo. <laughs> talk to that guy. He's a side quest and we don't have to... Oh. Moors anymore. This man? Yeah. Who is he? Lord Hob. Something, my lord. <laughs> my lord. So, they didn't think through that little um, <laughs> floating cloud of words. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad they let you go, my lord. I was so afraid when I heard the go cloaks had taken you away. A hey, sorry business it was. <laughs> oh no! Lambert! The oh, sheepish lion. The guy from Splinter Cell? No. He's always trying to be a wild and woolly sheep. Anyway. Have kept away so, am I Sam Fisher now? <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> My Michael Ironside? Have you always been clipping through your cloak? Why is the yes, but not that badly. That's pretty bad. That's pretty. No, that's worse than it usually is. Oh, yeah, so we we did the fighting pits. Yeah, you did the fighting pits. Uh, and nothing of value nothing was of, lost? No. <laughs> nothing, there was like gained. five extra fights. Who is the girl? And, uh, uh, one of them was kind of interesting because it was a, a doubles match. Ah. And your partner was one of your previous opponents, providing you hadn't killed them. That's kind of cool. So here's us being all merciful. It's like, cool, we've got a battalion ready to go. Nice. Um, Everyone we save is one more roller to the... So the rolling, was, rolling, rolling. There was an ending to the fights. The ending was we beat Lucifer the Undefeatable. But was that were the fights the, a quest? Because you've either got to do this is a quest, a long quest, or you've got to do this goes on forever. So you it can was grind. it was a quest. Um, we beat Lucifer the Undefeated. At which point we beat Satan. The pitmaster Satan. said that we have made him okay. so much money. He's just going to retire to Marine. <laughs> That's all right. Not very Wait, he's going to retire to a place with even more fighting pits? Yes. Okay. And especially at this point, right? The, no, this is like the three, this is several years before that. Counts. That's what I'm saying, isn't that? Yeah. Like nothing. Isn't Marine just a shithole? Like even more so than it is. No, in the but show? it's full of fighting pits. Yeah, that's so you what can I'm just saying. turn up and be like, "Hey, I I run a fighting pit. I'll teach you how no, to I fight suppose. the I Western suppose. way." And they're like, "No, that doesn't seem as fun. We we like our way." I do have a question though. The, the biggest badass in the fighting uh, pit was Lu Lucifer the, the Undefeated. Uh -huh. Would Lucifer mean anything to the Westerosi? Uh, really? Well, no, it'd still be a name, though. Like, we're going yeah. like, oh, it's literally Satan! Yeah, oh, hey, Hitler. <laughs> How are you doing? <laughs> Hitler, Lucifer the second. Maybe it's a translation convention. I'm Maybe his sure. like name in universe is like Devil McGee. Devil McGee. <laughs> Devil McGee's in Belfast. 
That's such an obscure uh, thing old, for us to have, be you, saying. have you seen any more sons recently? Since yesterday? No. Yeah. I, you knew you might have knowing done. the bullshit I went through yesterday? <laughs> yeah. No. You might have put it under a lax when you got home. No. <laughs> nice relaxing episode I, of sons. I didn't relax when I got home. Oh, I'm sorry. And you I made a pretty sons. solid joke about Sons of Anarchy's Japanese yeah. adapts. <laughs> yes, I, I want there to be a, like a version done by the team that make the Yakuza by. games and they can call it Sons of Aniki and it's I love it that's such a good pun I I hope that no one else has made it before me I, I don't get it like, sure. An- Aniki pun. is it's like um, that's, that's a way to if stand back that pun <laughs> if you're in the if you're in the Yakuza like yeah, your time. your big bro like the guy who's like your immediate boss you, you, you call him Aniki which means big brother big brother yeah but not that kind of big brother this big is like brother. <laughs> this is like no oh, Mokuba <laughs> hello Uz oh dear I have come here to help he doesn't need to be so aggr- I have come here I, to help. I I, oh, dramatic hand on hip. How pantomime. Hello, I'm a dashing... Oh, dramatic hand on hip. How dashing pantomime. middle-aged man. Seriously, if he starts oh, slapping his thigh... But, I don't think that's going to be animated. I am Alan. <laughs> I don't think they can, I, <laughs> What's her last name? Sarwick? Oh, yeah. Somewhere, somewhere like that. Yeah. I am Alistair Sarwick. I don't mean to be rude. Oh, oh like the, no, it isn't! Or he does the Vic Reeves thing where he's just rubbing I'm his sorry. knees. Like, <laughs> oh no. That was bad, I'm, bad for I'm audio. Lord of River Spring. Pringles with Spring fingers. Springwood. Spring Springfield. Springfield. <laughs> it's, it's a hell of a town. <laughs> Just keep that rolling, it's fine. <laughs> I'm trying to remember oh, the no, words. I was stalling um, to remember the lyrics. <laughs> New York, New York. New York is that away. <laughs> Thanks, kid. Well, this is right. So, speaking of armor, yeah. we didn't get enough. For What's the cool armor that you wanted. For Mr. What's called? I, I really shouldn't see, have I, thought that through yeah. before. And what's I've, called? Oberon. Oberon. Martel. Had we not see, bought in, in head, we would have had enough. Yeah. Now, in my head, Dawn always had like a South African accent. Because nah. Don't ruin but, yeah. Oberon Martel. But basically, I ran out of accents I can remember in my head. Yeah. Uh, when I so I, I made the Stormlands Spanish instead of Dawn. No. I, I think no. And the three cities are all French. Help me, my lord! I beg of you. But yeah, yes. Uh, yeah, I think uh, I think Duran Martel sounds kind of cool in a in a South African accent. Very well. I will. Very well. Give him cake. There is nothing <laughs> I c- I'll help you. I don't even I actually know what this is. We only brought two bits of cake. We didn't expect such a rush. <laughs> Hello, Church of England. Cake over there. <laughs> Hand him this letter. It will bring him here. So yeah, no, the the fight pit was just a bunch of generic guys. Um, even though one guy was a named character in universe, but he's yes. been dead for some time. Yeah, he's been dead for forty years and only appears on the app. <laughs> yeah, but he's a ghost. Game of Thrones, ghosts, dragons. The G doesn't stand for Cersei. ghost. We gotta find Ghost Sir, we gotta find Sir something or other and explain what Bethany's complaining Whoa. about. He Look at those co- assassins! He had collision, I wasn't expecting Just like Will Ospreay. Oh. But, um... I, I uh, think the game has shown... To be honest, it's budget. But yeah. also some degree of restraint. Because mm-hmm. we were expecting, like, your final fight, Gregor Clegane! Sauron! Or whatever. <laughs> but, like, they've not... What the- we are... <laughs> we're trapped! We uh, can't get uh, out! Uh, uh, uh. Um, See, this would be how right, I found right, no, the left behind you, like through through there. Yeah, there we go. Uh, there we go. This would I be how, it. I, <laughs> how uh, I found yeah, those yeah. sleepy gold cloaks. I got so lost going back up this hill. Right. <laughs> it's right. like level design. Oh, the left. There's a guy. Not right. Level design people. Um, but no, like you've you've seen or played the the Telltale Game of Thrones, right? Yes. yes. Where it's like it's good. Scene one. Here is a meeting with Cersei and Tyrion. Yes, that was, a little, that was a little forced. Then you go hang out with Marjorie and talk about it. 
margarine. Yeah. Also and a little forced, but you know. I'm pretty sure was it Ramsey Bolton's in it. Oh yeah, he's probably Theon. Theon. No, he's no, not. No, in no, it. He's John not. Snow's in it. Uh, John, oh yeah, John, John Snow. <laughs> And TV's Amelia Clark. She was yeah. in it. I forgot yeah, she, she was in it. And it's like... She, hers was the most forced, I think. Whereas here, it's just like... Or maybe John. Again, I suspect they can't afford him, but they've not had that many to be, show characters. To be fair, arrive. it's amazing that they got, you know, Jon Snow, Tyrion... Cersei, Daenerys, well, when they could have just had uh, Theon. To deliver like six lines without a lot of passion. <laughs> no, Cer- Cersei had like a bunch. Oh, yeah, Cersei, um, Cersei and Tyrion had quite a few. Yeah, like they were, and Marjorie had a bunch. Right, that yeah, does like, bug me because on my second time through, I decided I was going to like stick with Marjorie as best I could. Yeah. So everything Tyrion said to me, I said nothing. I have come on behalf like, uh, of the whenever people. I was forced to make a response, I would say no. If I was, you know, because uh, he shows you the, um, you like, the iron, the, the ironwood dealers. Yeah. And he's yeah. like, these are the people I'm thinking of getting my ironwood from. And you can be all sassy and cool and yell at them. So I just said nothing. I just stood there really meekly and took it. And he's like... I'm gonna give you the iron. Like, Why are you giving? And I'm like, no, I, I don't. I admire your bravery, girl. I, I don't want it. I don't want anything that could jeopardize Marjorie. And he's like, I'm gonna give it to you anyway. See, I was, I played that entire game the opposite, where I yeah. was like, everyone's gonna die anyway because this is Game of Thrones that is based I, off the show more so than the book or whatever. So I was like with Roderick, I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm bending the knee, I'm gonna die anyway. Mm. Here comes the choice, or who do I save? I don't care, I'm gonna die. And then as what's her face, the girl, I forget her name. Yeah. It was like, she has no good ending anyway, as far as I can sound. Yeah, can no, see. she's either dead or grim. Or in a horrible, horrible situation. I was like, just kill me. Because the family's gonna die anyway. Yeah. So, you know, it's like, I had a lot of fun on my knuckle under playthrough. <laughs> And I bet everyone died. Um, uh, actually, no. To be fair, I know certain people don't. But no, because well, um, what's the face? Most survived. Uh, Ta- Talia, not Talia. Yeah, Tal- I don't think Talia can die. Yet. Yeah, no, she, she, no, the, the, the one who you choose yeah. whether she gets married or dies. He is to blame because look at his face. He is to blame because he knows what he did. I want to punch you, <laughs> character model. Well, from what <coughs> Simon M has told me, isn't the Game of Thrones one the most varied in terms of it's no, got, it's, so. the it's outcomes? Got a, it's got a lot of different outcomes. There's I, a, from what I saw, I don't know, I'm just going off what a lot of people were saying. I'm going off like times of I've played it. <laughs> and the, you, there is a spread of who can survive and who ends up with who. Because if you look at um, the Walking Dead, Telltale is The Walking Dead. It's basically, There's who do you want to be ending. mad at you? And yeah. then you get your ending. What was it? I think it's Tales from the Borderlands that I heard. Had, had a ton. See, I'm, I've started playing As that. It's a lot of fun them. so far. That's probably my second favourite next to Walking Dead Series 1. Yeah. See, I enjoyed, I enjoyed uh, Walking Dead Series 2 a lot. So did I. And it was one of those where, you know, because it gets a lot of hate. <laughs> And mm. I was like, yeah, fuck that game. And then sort of remembered, actually, I enjoyed the hell out of that game. And I don't really get what the issue is with it. Kenny for life. He must help her. Well, uh, not, he must help something. He owes her nothing. I've I... done my plans up to him. I should... mm. What can you do it? I mean, controversial <laughs> statements, perhaps? Not I... your servant. I kind of think Kenny was no, right no, in that bomb scene. Uh, what, the, the ice locker? Yeah, I, if I'm thinking of oh, the right one. Well, the, the meat lock in two as well. Yeah, at the start of the episode, it's like, this wimpy little college kid took down three of you in a minute. Yeah. Wait, what are you throwing And that, it, uh, Game the, of Thrones. The uh, meat Game locker of Thrones. at the St. John's Dairy. Thank you for that. Oh, uh, and then later episode, on, it's like, yeah. is this guy dead? Because if he is, he's going to well, kill all of us. The thing is... He's he's not breathing. He's Is it wrong that I thought I don't like this man anyway? <laughs> so, <laughs> no, he's a zombie, there he goes. For me it was very much That was complete. He is he looks dead. We don't have the medicine or the equipment to heal a heart attack. Yeah. Uh he is not 
he, he's dead. And even if he's somehow not dead, he's dying. Yeah. And we don't have anything to fix it. So you you gotta. At least we have the book. Get the book out. What is this clipping? Oh. Is that a model? There is like great moment if you don't if you choose not to kill him where he's like he takes that one breath and then the whatever block Which slams down on his head. Which be the zombie sitting up. Thing or do they breathe? Groans. Well, they they've got to they spend all their time groaning. Yeah, but how would they do that without breathing? Because magic. How would they get air in their lungs? To how would their zombies sign? <laughs> yeah, but they you know they it's it's like if all their arms and legs fell off, they won't be able to walk. They yeah yeah, but like they they can move that they dead don't in the first place. they don't need to breathe, but they have to breathe in order to groan. So oh! surely they breathe. Oh, here we go. We got the book. Ned Stark in it up in here. Yeah, it's that one book. This is this is happening before Ned Stark is even in the capital. <laughs> Shut up, though, Sean Bean. Well, do you know what is kind of cool to think about? Like, if given that Telltale's story takes place in the TV show version of yeah. Westeros, yeah. Mia Forrester's kicking around somewhere. Not yet. She's not. That's, she's in a, that's in several years. That's like, in, if she's um, anywhere, she'll be in Highgarden. Right. She's she's somewhere in the world. She's, yes. That takes yes. place. And so is Asha and the. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Tell, Telltale's is like around series three, isn't it? Because it's right after yeah. the uh, yeah, they Red Wedding. Wedding. Redding. Redding. Right in Redding. <laughs> Redding. What a terrible Redding place. Festival. The Queen That's a fun involved time, tell you what. me in this treachery. So the Queen's been killing off the uh, the illegitimate kids of Robert. No oh, shit. Can we have a sci-fi version where he's Robot Baratheon? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to hunt Thor's. <laughs> I like. I hate game. you, Cersei. Alcohol powers my fuel cells. <laughs> Knock him dead, Ulrich. <laughs> he was a nice tale, come on. <laughs> he was! <laughs> the one. Oh, I had that reaction nice when I, I watched the first thing. episode of Game of Thrones, yeah. and I'm like, I can't take this man seriously. He's that lovable guy in Nice Tale. He can't be a. He's like badass king. But also. Oh, he... Bronn of the Blackwater is Jerome Flynn. That's weird yeah, to me. Yeah, because uh, Robson and Jerome. Yeah, he's... He, sh he should be on stage with... Uh, lovely crooner man. Robson Green singing Unchained Melody. And then Robson Green's over there just doing fishing. Yeah, he does a lot of... I know someone who met him, didn't, okay. re like, didn't recognise him. He, uh, I think he borrowed either her bow or her arrows. That's... Um, at a Viking thing, the ball. And yeah, she didn't recognize him, and he's just. I think he tried to celebrity at her, mm. and because she didn't recognize him, just no sold it. <laughs> That's just sad. Yeah. Do you know See, who I am? No. See, I they. It's fortunate for them that they cut out the audio where they're recording like some people fighting, because I was standing just behind the camera telling people a stupid joke about Velociraptors. <laughs> <laughs> oh, can you tell it now? Uh, it doesn't. Gr Basically, have you ever seen the critic? Yes. Because there's some really fun. Uh, fake films. Oh, we know that's not true. So there's um, from what I understand, there's the one where they they talk about Jurassic Park two, and because you know the whole thing is like raptors are smart, they can open doors. Oh, oh. But yeah, so, girl, like, <laughs> yeah, so they trap a ra raptor in a cupboard. Jeff Goldblum comes over and he's like, "You can't trap a raptor in a cupboard. <laughs> They're too smart for that." Then cut over, cut over to the cupboard, where a newspaper is slid out under the door, <laughs> and then it's like shuggle, shuggle, shuggle. The key falls down, and oh, it pulls that, it back, that puzzle. and it bursts out, <laughs> and he jumps through, jumps at them, and uh, what's his face? Richard Attenborough is there, like, you may kill us, but you'll never get off the island. <laughs> And the ve Velociraptor just pulls a pipe out of nowhere and goes, Actually, that's not true. You see, <laughs> you see, the other raptors and I have constructed a crude suspension bridge <laughs> that will carry us to Venezuela. And once there, we shall... Well, perhaps I've said too much. <laughs> and just... <laughs> Have a girl indeed. Yeah. What was that from? Uh, the Critic. Ah, that's fine. It's, uh, it's got a lot of... 
tripe, but there's some really funny bits. I kind of. Did you ever see home movies? No. Because I I got it. No, I, I watched it the first that. time and I'm just like. Oh, but let's say it's too risk. Wait, what? We're bringing back the Targaryens? What? Yeah. I'm so. Even though I literally I just wasn't said, looking at the screen. What I, just happened? I picked an option that was that one guy was insane. So I don't know how when this has happened. Targaryen our, was born, the gods our dad the was trying to bring back the Targaryens. <laughs> is it going to be a crazy one? Or is it going to be Amelia? Well, well, to be fair, we've already got a Targaryen. Mors is presumably hanging around. This is one. presumably what they're talking about. Yeah. Oh, they're going to be like, oh, there's a, a daughter of the Mad King. God, I checked out from the story. God knows <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, me too. <laughs> These previously on jokes are not helping. Because when we started this, Game of Thrones was on. So I was a bit more yeah. into it, and now it's not in my mind at all. So I'm just. It's gone. Where are you up to in the book? Um, there has just been the very first battle shortly after Tyrion met Shay. Hey! Yeah, I like that. Scene. What is that? He headbutts a horse. Is that the first one? Yes. Yeah. Is that the battle in the show? It's the bat. Yeah, it's the battle that Tyrion gets knocked unconscious at the start of in the show, so they didn't have to film it. They never punched it then. They did not. Oh, they did, but they spent it on Sean Bean. Uh, Sean Bean. And the dragons at the end. Oh, you know what's depressing? They probably didn't spend it on Sean Bean because he'll take anything nowadays. <laughs> he will. He's in the Silent he's Hill a, show. He's in a show called The Frankenstein Chronicles. Oh. I don't know what it is. Does he's he a, die he's in it? I don't know. I've only seen the adverts on ITV. That's all you need to know, right? There. I mean, uh, unnamed independent <laughs> television channels. I'm not bleeping that one. <laughs> channel 4. No one cares about that. No, Channel 5. Channel 5. Channel 5. Hey, Channel 5 has got Columbo. Home and away, though, right? Columbo. Neighbors. Columbo. Neighbors. Columbo. Neighbors. The most Columbo. bizarre programming decision Channel 5 ever made was they bought Daria. But they aired it as part of the kids' cartoon section in like a Sunday afternoon. I remember that. And they also aired it out of order. Oh. What's Daria? Daria is the 90s is cartoon. Amazing. It's about an angsty 90s about. teen girl who's very monotone and depressed, and this is her life as she's in high school and things are happening, I guess. But the soundtrack is like the soundtrack. Yeah. Can we get a picture of that? No, right, after recording. After well, edit that out. <laughs> The, the DVDs feel like, are on my shelf. I feel like I'll recognize it. Um, oh, my leg. I know the woman. Do I know the woman? Is this in alphabetical sure. order? It is. There it is. I was thrown off by Cromarty High School, which I thought started with a H. Yes. <laughs> yes. Immediately, my I recognize this. My box set. I don't think I ever watched it, though. Or, like, I tried it and I didn't like I saw, anything about I it. I only remember <laughs> seeing one episode, which is the one where the radio people are trying to get it to say. I can. Yes! I can literally. I can hear her voice right now. I can remember the. Just the monotone. Here I am. In high school. But I love that show because it, it's basically sarcasm. Oh, I'm, I was probably too young. Sarcasm to all the way down. Appreciate it, maybe. It never struck me as a. In like a younger kid's show. <laughs> like more food. That was not the sound of alcohol. Oh. Pay no attention to the booze behind the curtain. <laughs>